What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part 12 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way all the way over to Candlelave City and defeated the sixth gym. And in today's video, we're going to be completing Iron Island, evolving Togetic, and making our way towards the seventh gym. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But before we actually got started with this episode, I went and I bought a bunch of uh, super repels because, you know, the Pokemon here are very, very annoying. It's just a bunch of gold bats, gravelers, you know, the normal stuff. So we're just going to be popping a bunch of repels, going through this place, grabbing our uh, shiny stone. And if you guys did not know, this is actually where you get Rylou. So if you want Lucario or Rylou on your team, this is the exact spot of where to get it. So let's head down here. We're going to have a few trainer battles here. But more importantly, like I said, we're here for that shiny stone. A shiny stone is where it's at because if you do not get one now, the only way to get one is post game or in the underground. I think you get one in the underground at like the seventh gym, but it's just like a rare spawn chance. It's not a guarantee. So we'd rather go with the guarantee and rock out in Iron Island. Plus it's a pretty cool area. You get some levels and we do need levels in order to start heading up to that seventh gym because they do got a nice little level curve. They're starting to get a bit stronger over there, but we are rolling here. We are rolling. And by the time of this recording, your boy has been absolutely grinding for a, what's it called? For a competitive team, a competitive team, and we are so close to finishing up it up, and it is absolutely amazing. It is so much time consuming to get your first competitive team out because you have no resources. You have to find a Ditto first of all, or you have to find your good uh, breeding Pokemon. You also have to get BP or start uh, doing the Battle Tower, and at that point, you don't really have a lot of Pokemon that could do the Battle Tower because the Battle Tower, not gonna lie, is pretty tough. They got some good Pokemon and some good trainers there, and if you do not have Master Class, it takes a lot longer to get Battle Points. It really does. So that's what I've been aiming at. I actually lost on 48 with a 49th uh, battle because my Rotom missed a Hydro Pump. Very upset at that. And uh, the Tyranitar had an Ice Beam, which one typed my guard time. Like, what Tyranitar is rocking Ice Beam? Get on out my face. I was very upset because I was. you have to get a 49 win streak in order to actually uh, unlock Masterclass when that will allow you to get more... Uh, more battle points so i was very upset spent a couple hours doing that and i was just like yo what you mean did not get that did not get that i was so upset i was so upset and there's no way of just like saving beforehand and soft resetting you have to go all the way back around and do everything over again in order to get that match so it's a pain but hey it's part of the grind it is part of the grind but i cannot wait to actually start bringing you guys a uh, pokemon bdsp competitive live or double battles to this channel it's gonna be so much fun we're gonna have some cool pokemon so if you have any cool pokemon requests let me know in the comment section down below i'd love to get you guys answers and potentially build teams around those pokemon but we are here we decided to team up with riley and riley is another one of those characters where we have to lead him out the cave and at the end this is how you get the final egg. he's gonna give it to us but we're gonna start here with this lovely little double battle and we're gonna be rocking out with houndoom for probably most of this video because he's a little bit under level. Everybody's like three, four levels ahead of him. So I like to use him a little bit more to get them levels up for him. But we're versus double hiker guys. So I'm guessing double rock, right? And this guy's Lucario is a beast. He has a Lucario as his Pokemon. And this thing rips. It rips. It hits like an absolute truck. I love. He's like the best trainer to actually go into double battles with. Because everyone else is using like low level Pokemon or like Pokemon that don't hit hard. So you're basically doing all the work. But nah, this Lucario is where it's at. It is where it's at. Cannot wait to show you guys the power of this thing. When my flamethrower flies through, Zubat, get on out of my face. We do not need you here. We do not need you here. Let's see how this Lucario does. Come on, Lucario, do him dirty. And look at that, 88 XP. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Why are we getting, like, nothing at all? Metacall comes out here doing some nice damage for Metacall. You never really see Metacall do a lot of damage, but I was hoping to use, like, Force Palm or something. That could do some big damage. This thing drops a rock on me. Pretty tough. Super effective on me. And this thing is going to drop an Onyx. Should I swap out? Should I swap out? We might swap out. Could just go for a bite. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a bite here. And hopefully that Lucario is targeting down that uh, Graveler. Well, whoever he targets down should die. Let's see. Force Palm comes out here. Yeah, later, Graveler. Later, yo. Lucario is ripping up. But the best part about coming into double battles with uh, people like Riley is at the end of every single battle, your Pokemon are fully healed. Fully healed, just like they got hit by the... Uh, the Pokemon Center. It is awesome. It's kind of it's kind of cheese, not going to lie. It's kind of broken. Because in the older games, you did not have that. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We're just going to keep rolling out with Houndoom. Drop a nice, lovely little bite. Chipping away damage. Force Palm's going to come out here. And look at this thing. Yo, this is what I'm talking about. Yo, this thing rips. This Lucario with the Force Palm just going after it. He's just getting after it. Get some XP. 
all that good stuff. Low sweep swing, that might kill me. Yep, later, Houndoom. It's all good. You'll be healed up after this. But if you guys notice, my throat is a little, you know, dry. It's, it's not feeling too well. So if I'm talking different, if I'm sounding a bit different, that is why. That is why. Because I don't know, y'all. I woke up this morning. I was like, bro, my throat is not feeling good. It is not feeling good. I don't know if something's going around. But, yo, I'm feeling good enough to record for you guys and have some fun in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl. But he's going to throw out a Gold Bat. I'm just going to Aqua Jet over on the Machoke. Start teeing off a little bit of damage on that. I do need better moves for my, uh, for my Foil Soul. I think this thing learns liquidation, so once we learn that move, that can be really beneficial for us. Air Cutter's gonna fly, chip away a little bit, no crits, and then Strength is gonna pop out here. Oh, yo, Strength looks sick. I haven't seen the animation yet. That was really cool. I dig it. But um, I'm just gonna go for an Aqua Jet, finish off Machoke, and hopefully Lucario can drop like a, a big old move onto the Gold Bat. I don't know what other moves he learns or what other moves he has. I know he has Force Palm and Metal Claw. I think he has a better, uh, he might have Meteor Match, which is a way better steel move. A way better steel move. Air Cutter flying, bop, 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 but Iron Island isn't that long. It's really not that long. We should be able to get this done in, uh, today's video, obviously, but we should be able to start doing other stuff. Like I said, start heading towards the 7th gym, or I think we have to start versus Team Galactic. I think we have, like, a Team Galactic side quest to do first, so hopefully we can defeat that and at least start or finish up the Team Galactic side quest. So in the next episode, we can start making our way all the way up to the snow area, which I think is Snow Point City. I believe that's the name of the uh, town of the 7th gym. And kind of get over there. But get out of here, hikers. I'm sick of y'all. Give me your money. We out of here. We are out of here. And on my other account, I've been grinding money because, you know, money is a lot. It's everything with team building. You're going to need a lot of money. And I did not know they had a cap. They have a cap for money. You cannot go over a... Uh, you cannot go over a million. Isn't that... I just think that's crazy. I just think that's crazy. Is this like the first Pokemon game where you cannot go over a million? So I was sitting there grinding. I was just like, yo, there's no way we, we actually landed on 9999. So then I went, battled again, and my money didn't go up. So if you are getting close to 999 on money, make sure you start spending it up so nothing goes to waste. But you do not actually going to pop out here. I really should rock out with my Floatzel. My floats just seems like it can do work here. If we start start popping off a floaty, I think that's what we're gonna start doing. We might have to switch him back here for this, but for the meantime, we're just gonna drop our dark moves to go for some bites. Hopefully, Lucario is targeting down uh, the Onyx. Force Palm comes out here. God dang it, man! I wanted him to one tap the Onyx and then we can kill the Geo dude. Just would have been a lot quicker, a lot more beneficial for us. But Rocky Punch dude goes down, and we get his little XP. It's not even like we're versus any good Pokemon. Rockside comes out here, and you can take out my Houndoom. I really do not mind. <laughs> I really don't mind. It's like I said, I think I should switch to Floatzel after this. It's going to be a lot easier because Houndoom is going to get a lot and a lot of battles in uh, what's called. On the next route. Because like I said, we're heading up to Snow Point City. A lot of ice Pokemon going on there. Houndoom is just going to be able to rip through, get a bunch of XP for us. So let's use Floatzel this time around. I really want to use Houndoom. Like I said, he's a little bit under level compared to everybody else, but this should be fine. Horse Palm pops out. We can just Aqua Jet and finish that thing off. Actually, we're going to Aqua Jet onto... Hmm. Do Aqua Jet onto the other one? Might be my play. Let's see what happens here. Curse is going to pop. I never like, I never really liked Curse. I never thought it was that good. I know it drops the speed, but boosts his other stats. But I never found it that good. I mean, I guess we're Trick Room. I guess we're Trick Room in competitive. And this is a special attacking move. This will do more damage to an Onyx. So I'm going to use it up on the Onyx and see how much damage we can pull off. Even though Whirlpool is not that big damage. But still, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Onyxes and Steelixes are just defensive bulk. So if you use like any type of special attack or, yeah, special attacking moves, it is just going to wipe them out. Force Palm is going to slide. There we go. Beautiful. That's why this Lucario only did about half health with the Force Palm. And Force Palm is like base 60, I think. Which is a lot more than base 35 Whirlpool. And Whirlpool rips. It rips. Gravel is going to come out here. Same thing for him. He's very defensive bulk. So we are just going to send a Whirlpool. I am actually going to Whirlpool over onto... Actually, we're going to do the uh, Gravel here. We're going to hope the Lucario hits up on the Steelix. Whirlpool popping. This thing dead. Yo, dude, Whirlpool's one tabbing. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Well, this is going to be running this. Well, this is going to be ripping. But something that really throws me off. It works with... Uh, it works with Whirlpool and Sandu. It's really, really weird. Oh, this thing is Thunder Fang. But it's really weird. Every time, like, watch. Watch when I use the Whirlpool. It doesn't make the hitting sound. Doesn't make the hitting sound. It's just weird. It just starts taking away HP. See what I'm talking about? It doesn't make the whoops sound. Like that's weird, right? That is super weird. It threw it throws me off. It's not like weird, but it throws me off. I don't know if they messed up in the coding and didn't place it. But it doesn't happen with the oh yo, we want that's beautiful. 
What if we get an old move? We might get rid of Whirlpool. I don't want to get rid of Whirlpool. This thing learns Waterfall. Base 80. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Whirlpool. Even though we're ripping with it. Waterfall, we need. This thing's more so physical attacking. We, we're really only using Waterfall or uh, Whirlpool for an action move. But, yo, finally, we learned a heavy hitting move. That's exactly what I wanted. I was just talking about that. Floatzel definitely needs that. I was hoping, like, we learned Liquidation, but, yo, Waterfall's just as good. Waterfall's up there. I mean, Liquidation's a little bit better, but Waterfall does the job. Waterfall does the job. Base 80. Great all around. But, like I was saying in that battle, we should really throw Floatzel in this front spot. Let's get him ripping up here. And let's get rolling and try to find this exit. Will we come this way? Nope. The other way? Is it this way? Down here? Kind of forget the pathway. Yeah, I think it's this way, because we can loop here, here, here. Up, oh, nope, this is just for a Pokeball. And what are we got? HP up. Okay, if I was on my main account, I'd be happy. But, like, HP up really ain't nothing here. Because I'm not going to be sitting here EV training. Because I have a whole other account for that where I'm grinding after it. But, we grab this Pokeball here. Grab ourselves some Mackie Potion. And then we got to find the route. We have to find a pathway throughout Iron Island. Would you like to use another? Yes. This is why we bought, like, 30 of them. So, I'm not dealing with the Gold Bats, the Zoo Bats, all that good stuff. It's just not happening. Uh, this way might be. I think this way is the right way. Uh, yeah, I think we go this way, and then we keep making our way down. Another double battle. Hopefully, they don't have a lot of Pokemon. You know, the double battle trainer's been having a ton of Pokemon. They've been having, like, five or six, which is pretty nuts. Let's see what these guys are rocking with. Let's see, five. Come on, man. Get out of my face. Luckily, we got Floats out here. Pelipper and Ponita. Okay, so I'll take out the Ponita, no problem, with a nice little waterfall. You can go for a lovely little, like, Force Palm or something. Over onto that, uh... Over onto the Pelipper. But Waterfall's gonna pop. We're gonna say bye-bye, Ponita. This move hits hard. Yo, base 80 on a Floatzel? Floatzel gonna be ripping. He's gonna be ripping. Ponita, get on out my face. You gone. And now this thing's gonna go for a Force Palm. Not gonna kill it, but still. Still do a little chippy damage. Oh, but he gets a Paralyzed, and we do like that. We do like that. Maybe he'll be Paralyzed and he won't be able to move. Nope, he sets up a Tailwind, though. What is this, competitive doubles? Dude set up a Tailwind out here. He's gonna throw out a Haunter. Uh... I don't know if I should target down the Pelipper. I'm going to target down the Pelipper. Hopefully, he'll start going for the Haunter. Made a single bit quicker. There's a nice little bite. He's going to go for a mean look. Now, Lucario cannot escape. As if he was. As if he was going to change. Metal Claw is going to fly here. There you go. Attack him. Beautiful. Pelipper flinches. That's lovely. And I'm just going to go for another bite here. Actually, I'm going to go for a Waterfall. I'm going to go for a Waterfall on the Pelipper. See if that can take out. Stab. Base 80. Oh, so close, man. So close. I thought it was going to be able to. Shadow Punch flying through here. That's easy eats. I never really knew there was a Shadow Punch. Was that recently added? Because when I do, like, Twitch streams, if you guys want to catch my Twitch streams, link is down in the description below and name is on the uh, layout. But uh, when I do my Twitch streams, we always have, like, good conversations about, like, Pokemon and stuff. We were talking about all the punch moves in the game. We named, like, all of them. Knock Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, all those punches. With the, and But we never uh, named Shadow Punch. I think it's uh, kind of kind of weird. Because I feel like I've never seen Shadow Punch before. This thing's going to Tail Whip. Drop our defense. It's all good. It's all good. Pelper's going to go down here. Because we should actually... Do we outspeed it? Yeah, it's paralyzed. It is paralyzed. He's going to go down here. Can Lucario one-tap this floatsy? Can Lucario one-tap this floatsy? Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Force Palm coming out here. Yo, no one-taps. Looks like I, I got to do damage. But yo, this thing's paralyzed. Got the good powers coming out here. Tailwind ends, and he's going to send out his final Pokemon, which is Pseudo Wudo. And I'm going to take out. Mm, do I take out Pseudo Wudo? Hmm. Do I dump on the Pseudo? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get on the Pseudo. Floatzel's paralyzed. That's good news. That Floatzel speeds me. He had to be going for Aqua Jet. Waterfall's popping. I'm going to say bye bye to Pseudo Wudo. He gone. Get him out of my face. Lucario, use a steel move, dude. Do you have, do you have like Meteor Mash? See what he's going to rock with. Force Palm again. Dude. Why use a Force Palm? You know it's not going to kill. You know it's not going to kill. We'll go for a Swift. Guaranteed hit. And it is GG's. It is GG's. Get these guys out of here. And more importantly, we're going to rack up some XP. EXP. I always call it XP. Technically, it's XP because EX makes the X sound, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, we got to take out those two trainers. And I believe this is the right path. I believe we are on our way to finishing up Iron Island. It's not that long. There might be, like, one more room. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, we got Team Galactic here. What's up, Team Galactic? And this might be the end of it. I'm trying to think. I think the end might be Team Galactic. Like, you verse these guys, and then you kind of just get after it. 
But I don't think they have that many Pokemon, but they're probably going to have five like the rest of them. Like the rest of them, we already know that. But Team Galactic Runk over here. Let's do him dirty. Let's do him dirty. Glammeow and Zubat. And I'm going to let the Lucario take out the Zubat. Or not the Zubat, the Glammeow. I'm going to just Waterfall over onto the Zubat and finish that thing off. These guys have six Pokemon. Making my life annoying. Making my life annoying. My life would be way more annoying if I did not buy Repels. If I was just running into Gravelers, Zubats, Golbats. Like, come on, man. They are the absolute worst. They do have some cool evolutions. I'll give them that. But their pre-evolutions, their first and second stages, nothing special. Aerial Ace is going to drop. And Lucario, did you go yet? Did Lucario use a move? I don't think he did anything. I'm just going to waterfall up over onto this Zubat. Zubat's going to use Quick Guard. Luckily, we are not going for an Aqua Jet. That would have been, been crazy Zubat read it over there. That would have been nutty Zubat reads if he would have read an Aqua Jet. <laughs> I would have lost it, yo. I would have lost it. Well, there's a little bit more XP. Can you take this thing out? Why aren't you going for your four spot, man? Actually, okay. Good job, Lucario. You get a crit. <laughs> I was going to say, yo, go for your four spot. Go for a heavier hitting move. But, you know, Metal Call work. It got the KO. Togetic going to be level 43. Yo, we ready to evolve this thing. I'm so ready to evolve this thing. Because it gets uh, Air Slash when it evolves, which is great with its ability, Serene Grace. Serene Grace actually like boosts the uh, odds of your after effects happening. So with that move, with us uh, uh, air slash, it has a chance to flinch, and then with the ability, it will actually boost the chance of getting the flinch. So it works out really well with Togekiss. So I really, really like air slash a lot. And then we also have Dazzling Gleam, which will just do more damage all around because we'll be higher level with better stats. Card's gonna medical. I don't. This might KO. It does, yo, Lucar. You're the best, man. Yo, double crits. This dude's nuts, and he's gonna get that attack boost. Now, next guy is going to be one to have him. But I think it's one more Pokemon left. Right? Stunky, and I'm just going to waterfall this thing. Yo, thank God we got waterfall. So we ripping with this thing. We are just absolutely ripping with waterfall. Waterfall is going to pop. Bang. Get on out of here. Yo, floats will OP, and this thing has aftermath. Doing a little bit of damage to me, but it's all good because Riley just heals up her Pokemon, and we are thriving from there. We are thriving from there. Not too much XP. I wish we would have got more, but it is what it is. It is what it is, but I think that's the end of Iron Island. Like I said, it's not that long. If you're looking for a shiny stone or the Rylu egg, this is exactly where you get it. This is exactly where you get it. But I think this is the end. Because we just, uh, you know, beat these guys. So let's see. Yep, there it is. This is the end. He gives us the egg. And in this egg is Rylu. So we're going to keep be keeping this in our party. Walking around with it and trying to hatch this thing. But you know, it's the absolute worst to have eggs in your box. In your Poke box. Because you cannot release them. And it is whack. Like, I have eggs from, like, breeding and stuff, and I cannot release them, which is very, very annoying. But once you make your way up here, you guys are wondering where to get the shiny stone, it is right in this place. You cannot miss it. You cannot miss it. It's legit right here. We're going to grab it right here, and we are right away going to be giving it to this Togekiss, or Togetek. I want to evolve this thing. Togekiss is an absolute beast. Let's give this thing a held item. Or, uh, I don't know if you have to give it a held item. I think you just have to go into the bag. I don't think you could do it the way I was just about to do it. But shiny stone here. Compatible. Togetic. Here you go, baby. Here you go. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Dun, 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 dun. But finally, yo, after a long journey of leveling up Togetic or Togepi to Togetic, we finally get ourselves this lovely Togekiss. And this thing is an absolute beast. Like I've been saying since the beginning of the playthrough, that uh, Togepi and Togetic are really... They're actually garbage. They're actually garbage. But once you get this thing, it is an absolute beast. But I'm just going to get rid of uh, Aerial Ace. This thing's more on the physical attacking or special attacking side. So Aerial Ace really isn't that good for us. I was just giving it to it for a stat move. But now we have Air Slash, which is going to be amazing on this Pokemon. You have to be able to rip up. Like I said, has high special attack. Has high special attack and is an absolute monster. But it should be flying behind us, which is going to be pretty cool. I don't want to see it. Yes, sir. Yo, Togekiss, baby. Look at that thing. Looking all spiffy, just gliding around, loving it. But finished up Iron Island, got the right leg, got the shiny stone, evolved the token. Now we can head back to Candlelave City and start moving along with the main story. I think we have to do a few Team Galactic stuff. Right, let me check my map. Let me check my map. Yeah, we have to head all the way over to Lake Valor. So at this point, I think I'm just going to uh, fly over to Vilestone City and make our way there. And make our way there. Because, yeah, there's definitely Team Galactic stuff. And what I want to actually do is... uh. You know, kind of want to bring out Houndoom, but 
We just got Togekiss though. Let's use Togekiss. So sick. Yo, Togekiss is so sick. And I love the way it walks around us. I'm actually going to use my bike here. But look at this thing, yo. It keeps up, yo. This thing flies. I'm going to use another repel because there is a... There is a patch of grass over here, and I really do not feel like being stopped by it. But, yo, Togekiss is looking awesome flying behind me. Like, yo, look at this thing. It, it keeps up, too. Look at that thing. It's cooking. <laughs> thing is absolutely flying. And this dude's really blocking our path. Come on, man. Come on, man. What you doing? What you doing? All right, make our way all the way down this, this uh, route here. And then if we keep going down, right over to the left will be Lake Valor, which is exactly where we need to go. Team Galactic is chilling there. You know, dude, this toe kiss, like it's like a jet. Do we want to use another? No, because there's no grass here. But once we make our way down here, we just have to fight a bunch of Team Galactic runs. I believe that is how it's done. But there, there is something kind of funny here. You make your way down here, you just have a bunch of magic carps out of the lake. And they're just flopping around. I think if you talk to them, they say carp or something. Magic carp is weakly flopping about. <laughs> He's weakly flopping about. That's hilarious. But we'll get our battle start. We'll get rocking out with these guys. All we got to do is take out a couple of them. And then we'll be done with the Galactic Grunt Challenge. And then we can start heading to the 7th gym, which will probably be a next episode kind of thing. I think the Team Galactic Grunt thing will take us just a tad bit, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Bringing out the kiss. Oh my god, this thing is looking great. It's looking great. Looking real good. Drop an air slash on this thing. Get our stab, special attacking, flying move. Out and about, ripping through. You gone. Get him out of here, yo. Get this thing on out my face. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. XP's out and about. Crow Gunk is going to spawn. Crow Gunk. Yeah, yeah. He's using anticipation. And once he pet it, it's all good. Air Slash is going to pop. Super effective. Yo, Toe Kiss is ripping. This thing plays no games. Plays no games. It's one of those Pokemon that is just like not that good. And then once you evolve it, it's a beast. It's like Magikarp. Magikarp, nobody wants to use Magikarp. But once you get it to Gyarados, it's like the best Pokemon. And Togekiss is one of the best Pokemon for competitive doubles in this game. So if you guys are looking for a good competitive double Pokemon, that is your that is your guy. But the way we want to go is actually uh is it down here or up top? It might be up top. So yeah. Look at all these carps over here. Look at all these magic carps just blocking the path. That's hilarious. <laughs> we'll make our way up here. We have to face off with this team Galacticon. Actually, we don't have to, but you know, we'll take the XP all day. We'll take the XP all day. You know your boy's a big fan of the XP. We gotta get them levels for you guys. We gotta get them levels for you guys. Oh, that's gonna fly. Toe kiss should have no problem just wiping these guys. But yeah, a lot of people, they don't do Iron Island. And if you're looking to get the national decks, which I'm, I'm guessing you would. I'm guessing you would be looking to do the national decks. Because you get so many more Pokemon after that. You have to go to Iron Island. So I get, I get a lot of comments saying, oh, yo, like, where's Rylou for like the people who really do not know? And it's just like, yo, just go to Iron Island. That's the only place to get them. It's the only place to actually see them. You will eventually, because to get the national decks, you just have to see all the Sinnoh Pokemon. But you see Lucario when you defeat the Elite Four. Cynthia has it. But Rylou, you never see throughout the game. So that's the only way to see Rylou is to do Iron Island. Grab yourself that egg and hatch it. Only way to get them in your decks. Only way. Unless you trade, obviously. But, you know, I'm not going to trade for a Rylou just to finish the decks. I'd rather just go to Iron Island. But you get some good rewards there, too. Get some goodies. Team Galactic Grunt, get on out my face. We don't want cheer. We don't need you. He gone. Let's move on. I think there's another Grunt showing here. There's one there, but I don't think he fights. I don't know. This guy definitely fights. But I just want to see over here. I think there's a Pokeball. Nope, just a bunch of Carps. Just a bunch of Carps. What do you want? Okay, this guy uh, says something about the entrance. And we're just going to walk in here. We're just going to walk straight in here. How you doing, buddy? Let's go. Let's do it. And we got this guy. And I think we have to uh, challenge the commander here. Howdy, Commander. But they are actually trying to get Master Sprint, Uxi, and Azelf in order to, like, you know, take over the world. Because they are very powerful Pokemon. But I think we reversed this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yo. Let's get after this Team Galactic uh, Commander. I want all the smoke. He has three Pokemon. And I think they're pretty strong Pokemon, but obviously not stronger than mine. He's going to send out a Kadabra. And I wish I had my Houndoom out. But I think Air Slash should do the job. Air Slash should just be able to rip right through it. Kind of just get rid of the thing. No kiss is too good. He's too good. Or we can go for a Gleam. Gleam is actually a bit stronger, so we're going to go for a Gleam here. And this should take out, right? Oh, yo. Bring him down the one. What you mean? And he sets up a Rain Dance. That's actually whack. I don't get that. I really don't understand. Why would the creators give Kadabra a Rain Dance? Well, unless he has, like, a Swift Swim Pokemon here. Let's see who he throws out. 
No, with John, he's gonna go into bronze or doesn't really make sense, but okay. That's fine. We go into this. I think he's going to be able to soak it up. Uh, should I go into an air slash or should I swap? What should I swap? We'll go into a shockwave, I guess. This might be able to KO. I hope so. I hope so. No, it does not. No stab. We don't get the, the bulk. And Jire Ball's gonna come through here. It's gonna be super effective, but we eat that up all day long. Well, the shockwave's gonna fly. That's gonna say bye bye to Bronzor. I feel like Bronzong, the second evolution of this thing, is one of the most annoying uh, Pokemon to go up against. It's just so bulky. It's tanky. It's like it hits like a truck too. I don't know. I just feel like that is one of the most annoying Pokemon to go up against. I have to build one for competitive because it is an absolute monster. It's a monster. We're gonna drop another Shockwave because obviously cannot miss, and this thing's on one HP. So we'll finish that thing off, and then we will get ripping up onto this uh onto this final Pokemon. But Torterra with a level up. I haven't been using that guy. Toxtrix is going to come out here. That's going to be light work. We're going to throw a nice, lovely little air slash. That's going to be GG's. GG's one tap. And yo, okay. Level 37? I can dig it. I can dig, dig level 37. That's a decent level, but we should be able to get a huge chunk of XP with this one. Always the evolution Pokemon. God, I love going up against them. There's that. Level up 44 for the Togi. All right, we should really start getting out Houndoom. We should really start using Houndoom. Thing's a beast. Thing is an absolute beast. But there we go. Take out the commander. Finish up our whole team galactic shenanigans. And now we can start heading towards the seventh gym. Or do we have to head to the next uh, lake? I'm not too sure. Let's see. Here's all the carps. Let's see what this says. We head to the next lake. Yeah, it's all the way up here. Go check out the situation at Lake Variety. So Lake uh, Variety, Variety, whatever you want to say. And yo, low battery. What you mean? It's all the way up here. So that is exactly where we have to head. I believe we start over here in Celeste. Because that's towards 7th gym. But you guys already know. Every time we get that low battery. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's stuck on something. Oh, we got it. Your boy's always prepared. Your boy is always prepared. Always have it plugged in at all times. I don't think we really need a heal on our team. Actually, do we need a heal on our team? I don't think we do. I don't think we need a heal. I am going to be swapping into uh my Houndoom. Bringing him to the front and start making a way towards that seventh gym. Which is like I said, you go to Celestia Town, the best way to do it is go this way and then uh, through this route. I could uh, use a uh, repel, which I might want to use. I'm going to be popping a repel. I am going to be popping a repel just for a little time because we're actually going to be finishing off this episode very, very soon. Very, very soon. But I at least want to get a jump on and start making our way towards this next, uh, this next gym. Just, just dip our, dip our toes in the water for, for the Snow Point City. Just dip our toes. We got strength now, which makes everything easier. We can actually go into different areas. And what you want to do is head all the way this way. Make hard left, and there should be stairs that lead down, right? Yep. I remember correctly. Jeans remembers correctly. They make our way to a foggy area, and this area is actually a pain. But it should just be a straight shot. should just be a straight shot all the way across. If you want to go down to the extra areas, that's actually where you can catch Feebas. And Feebas is a very sick Pokemon. Very, very cool Pokemon. But like I said... You need the fog for that. You need the fog to really like explore that area. There's a bunch of Pokeballs over there. But if you just make your way straight down, you can make your way towards Route 216, which is right here. Which is right here. And we will actually do a battle real quick. We'll definitely do a battle. We'll get Ripping. We have Houndoom in the front, I believe. Right? Didn't I put Houndoom up there? And this is what, what I was saying, or what I was meeting when I was saying, yo, Houndoom's going to rip. It's all ice. It is all ice here. Houndoom just going to be dropping flamethrowers left and right. He's going to get after it. And of course, this thing throws out an AB bomb. When, I, when I'm saying it's going to be all ice, Amy Palm comes out. Better than something that's going to be super effective to it, like a ground Pokemon. Definitely could have been whack. Definitely could have been whack. Well, Flamethrower is still going to probably do the most damage here. I don't think we're going to one-tap it, but get some good damage off on this thing. I love this thing. 35. Oh, we bring it down to one. What you mean? This thing's going to bat and pass. Bat and pass? What you mean? What is a bat and pass going on here? Into a cadaver. I can bite this thing. I can say, see you later, alligator. Get them on out my game. Get them on out my game. Do it. Bite comes out. I can't wait to learn Crunch for this thing. Even though this thing is uh, more special attack and I would rather learn like Dark Pulse. Crunch will still be able to do a bit more damage because, you know, it's just a better bite. It's just a better bite. That's what it is. Hale's buffeting us up and he's going to send out the AB Palm. And we're just going to leave our boy in here and finish that thing off. Because we did bring this thing down to like one. Pretty straightforward. We're going to a bite. And we'll say later. 
I do like Amy Palm. I was always considering having Amy Palm on my team. But I really do think it's a cool Pokemon. I think I always thought Apom was a cool Pokemon, but I was just like, oh, it doesn't have an evolution. And then in this generation, they added an evolution. I was just like, that thing's sick. That thing is actually pretty sick. So I really do like the uh the design for that Pokemon. But there are two different uh There are two different paths here. You can actually go for the upper path and the bottom path, but they have trainers on both. So we're gonna be doing both of these paths pretty much. I think there's like two trainers on each side. Let's see. But if you come up here, there's Pokeball. And what is in this Pokeball? An Ice Heal. Like, we're going to get Frozen. And usually, if you get Frozen, it's just like, dude, I'll thaw in like one turn. It's all good. We're going to head up this way, tackle on this trainer. And then I think we're going to be finishing up the episode after this trainer right here. Because I don't want to uh, really do the whole route. I really don't want to do the whole route. And I think it'll be perfect. To, this is a great place to stop. And it'll be nice to actually just like do this whole route in the next video. But Low Punny's gonna come out here. Low Punny's sick. I do like Low Punny. Very strong Pokemon, actually. Very underrated, in my opinion. Can have its uses in competitive, but there is obviously a lot better Pokemon. A lot better fighting Pokemon. But it's pretty quick. It hits hard. Does something like high jump kick, which is pretty cool. I think he's gonna rock out with Baby Doll Eyes. But luckily, we're using a special attack and move, which I was gonna say should kill, but I don't think it is gonna be able to. We sure hope so. We sure hope so. Flamethrower flies through here. Bop. Does not pick up the KO. This thing has a little bit of bulk to it. And it is pretty close to level to us. I didn't even realize that. It's only two, it's only two level difference. So maybe we got to get our levels up. Maybe we have to get our levels up. Flame Thrower's going to fly. Get this thing all out my face. Get them all out my face. There it is. GG's. That's how it's done. That is how it is done. Beautiful. We'll take the XP all day. We'll get rocking out from there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But guys, we're actually going to be ending off today's video right here. Actually, did good today. Defeated Iron Island pretty quickly. Made our way towards this route. I didn't think we were going to actually make our way towards this route. I knew we were going to defeat Iron Island easily. But I didn't think we were going to make our way towards this route. But that is exactly what we did. But in the next episode, we're going to be finishing up this route and making our way to Snow Point City where we can actually do the 7th gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.